Hi, I'm Dan Zare, business reporter for the Austin American Statesman and Statesman.com. Here with my colleague Lily Rockwell, who is a recovering instant message junkie. <laughs> How bad was it? It was pretty bad. I would get on the second I got out of bed, and I would leave it up while I was in class, and come back on the second I got back to continue my conversations. I rarely turned it off. I would use it while I was writing research papers, while I was talking on the phone, all the time. Uh, but then, after about eight years, my obsession started to die out, and I kind of stopped using it for a variety of reasons. She was big on AOL Instant Messenger, which, uh, you know, is still going strong, as instant messaging is generally, but not so much as a standalone product anymore. Uh, these are being incorporated more in business uses and other things. I mean, what is, uh, where is instant messaging going? So what I found is, is aging millennials like me are um, using it more kind of in their work life and less in their personal life. So they're using it to tell their boss or colleagues things. And then also, there's a lot of competition out there now. There's Facebook has a chat, you've got Twitter, you know, MySpace, all those options. There's just so many more ways to communicate and have your online presence now that just weren't around when I was younger. Uh, so. just, just can't get away from the instant messaging drug. It's out there everywhere. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.